The game you coached him for for the under-15 Belgium team was against Switzerland, is that right? And he played as a right-back in that game. He's obviously moved on to be a midfielder now, and he actually scored in the game as well. Belgium won 2-0. What, was he always a right-back when he was younger? Was that the position he played? Did he, did he always no, but, play there? But I don't know where you got that information, but he didn't play as a right-back. Okay. He played as a, as a right centre back. I played okay. him as a right centre back. So we played in a back four and he was the right centre back because at that time he played in underlift already in the under 16 group and he was playing um, alternating. He was playing in the back, in a back three, in a back four. But he was also ma- playing in midfield on the number six position. Uh, but we had in that group of under 15 a lot of good midfielders. And in Switzerland, there were, I had an agreement with Anderlecht at that time that he would play the first game because he had to go back to play youth league with under-17 as an under-15 player. So I had to fit him in the team somewhere. Uh, I made him captain, I think I remember. Mm-hmm. And I played him in the back because we, yeah, we at that time in under-15 and we still do it. We, we like to play out from the back and yet, yeah, incredible skills to play out from the back. Um, For him, it was almost too easy in under 15. Um, So that's why he played in the, in the back, he did it in the club sometimes, but you already saw that he would grow to in a more higher position on the field. Uh, But at that age, when they are 14, 15, yeah, if you already focus on one position, you have to develop them a bit more in uh, in different ways so that they can learn and uh, that they can uh, yeah use things like defensive uh, that they can develop defensive skills as a defender and that they can uh, develop offensive skills like for example as an offensive midfielder sometimes uh, yeah that's definitely. why I that's why I played him in the back I didn't know I don't know if I responded to your question no you well, did you absolutely did you yeah, absolutely did yeah and you I had another uh, interview this morning with uh, uh, another paper of Liverpool and they also mentioned me that he scored in that game but I can't remember the goal but uh, now I will look it up I will look it up and uh, if I find the clip I will send it to you as well yeah perfect good man yeah it it does say that he scored it's transfer marked that I got the information from they say he played as a right back in a 4-3-3 and you Mm -hmm. had like Mario Struikens in midfield and people like that yeah Yeah. Yeah. he played alongside the key um, Lantaki people like that um, in the yeah, defence yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sure he played in the central position I think the right back at that time was maybe Moreno he, he's on it but he's actually down as the centre back on here Okay. Yeah. But yeah. At least you were the manager, so you'll you, yeah. you, you, <laughs> I'll you look were, it up. Uh, yeah. I don't quite remember. It's been a long time, so oh, I'll yeah. look it up. It's up to you, I guess, where they played. So, yeah, I believe you as opposed to this website, <laughs> let's put it that way. Um, obviously, having having worked with Romeo so young, you, you'll have had one eye on how he's progressed from there, obviously, through the Anderlecht Academy and then Manchester City and now potentially to Liverpool as well. Have you been pleased with his development? Have you been a bit proud of seeing him grow as a player? And have you always kind of expected that he would move on to bigger things? Yeah, of course you're uh, you're proud. Of course you, yeah, you're happy for him eh? because it's his career and he has the dream to become a top player. So, yeah, he's he's. I think he's on the right steps. Uh, can you can you predict this? No, I I don't think you can predict this. And has he has he uh, does he has chosen the the most easy pathway? I I don't think so as well because. Yeah, the easy part would have been to stay at Anderlecht, to play in the first team in the, when he was 16 years old and uh, made made, made, the right, made this step like Lukaku did or like company did. But he chose the, the hard path and he, he stepped in quite young, at a young age, to, to move to England, to move to City. And yeah, then yeah, then it can, can go two ways or you or you have a success or you fail. Um, and yeah, I think he did quite well, and that that makes me proud. I think he's very impatient at sometimes. You see, he left City earlier as well as uh, as well as well. So yeah, I I think he has something in his head, and he wants to go for it. That that's how he is, and um, yeah, he, he's doing quite well, I must say. So. He chose the hard part, but he's getting where he has to be and where he wants to be. So, yeah, yeah, all credits to him. Uh, 
Yeah, absolutely. He certainly feels like he's driven. A couple of people have mentioned to me now he's in like a hurry. He knows where he wants to be mm-hmm. and he's desperate to get there. And hopefully that is Liverpool. Um, you mentioned there sort of how driven he is and how focused he is and how determined he is to, to be a success. And he knows, like I say, he knows what he wants to do in the game. Do you mm-hmm. tip him from what you know of him and what you've seen of him as a youngster? Do you tip him to be a success and to sort of a move to Liverpool is a big move? And I know he's at Manchester City's academy, but the pressure at Liverpool and sort of what is expected of you in the Liverpool side is huge under Jurgen Klopp, of course. But from mm-hmm. what you know of Romeo, do you do you back him to sort of take it in a stride and be a success? Yeah, I think he will do everything to to be successful there. So. Fail, failing is not an option for him. So if he if he gets difficulties on his part, he will he will conquer them and he will try to try to prove everybody wrong. So if he gets the right support, because he's still a very young player, so if he gets the right support and if people are a bit patient with him, which is difficult in a club like Liverpool, but if, if it's if it's all in the right picture, I think he will be very successful uh, at the club uh, or at any club he will go to. Uh... Hello, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that little section of my conversation. I'm sure you'll agree it was fascinating to get some insight from one of Romeo Lavia's former coaches. Doesn't get much better than that, does it? If you want to watch the show in full, head to redmenplus.com, sign up as a captain or a legend, and you'll get that, plus all the other brilliant content that we do here at the Redmen TV.